All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today, I was actually going to react to Organic's uh, latest video on his channel. He dropped this video, as you guys can see, a couple days ago. Finally wrapping up my Aston Martin Vantage. It's been a while, man. I guess he can't afford to get a wrap at this point. Um, so I skimmed through the video. I didn't really want to watch the whole thing. I kind of like skimmed through it. And you can pretty much get the vibe of what the video is about. It is pretty much about him getting a wrap. But it really looks like um, it looks like that shop he went to. That's like a low budget shop or whatever. Business must be really slow, so they probably reached out to Organic, this broke boy, and said, "Hey man, come on by, bring that Aston Martin. Let's get it wrapped up for you, and you can shout us out because business is really slow. We could really use some of your brainwashed followers to bring their cars there." And that, that's the vibes I got, man. But I want to know, how come um, he didn't take this car to Reflections Detail? You know, he's been telling us he had a business deal with uh, Reflections Detail. They're, they are their homeboys. That's his homeboys, right? And whatever happened to that slingshot, man? Damn, man, that slingshot has been gone for like, feel like almost like two years, man. It feels like a long time. He's been saying like, he's going to get the slingshot. He's going to get the slingshot. Well, I think last time he was begging, right? Because this is the same multi-millionaire that his crypto is up, but he was begging for some kind of transport company to transport the slingshot. But whatever happened to your business deal with Reflections Detail? I thought they used to send you a trailer when you were at Malibu. That's what you told us, right? Those are your boys, right? They sent you a trailer and you would send the cars there to get them wrapped up and all that. Whatever happened to that fake story? Like I said, this shit don't make any sense. So I didn't really want to play that video. But a lot of people have been telling me about Stunner Reese. Um, apparently, he got sick or something like that, man. I think this dude caught caught something. You know, you know, he's been messing around with all these different girls, right? Baddies. That's the whole purpose of Stunner Reese going to Miami, right? Because he doesn't really want to be a father. He doesn't want to take care of his uh, children or whatever. So he had to go all the way to Miami because he thinks that this content is so appealing to his brainwashed fans, right? That they really want to see this 50-year-old man walking up and down the streets of Miami trying to get some kind of women and it, most of the time it looks real goofy and it's not it's not even like he really captures the content now he just like puts up a bunch of croissants and all these pineapples blocking the whole damn screen or whatever but um I saw the one he dropped the first one the one that got like 17,000 views or whatever really boring it was so boring so I'm gonna check out this one where he says my situation is getting worse and uh, shout out to Mike Ray. He also dropped the video. He says, Stunner Reese catches an infection from a Miami baddie, the truth. But let me get into this video. Yeah. All right, gang. Here's your opportunity to win my custom Maserati Ghibli, a.k.a. All right, let me fast forward. I ain't trying to listen to the old Mosberg Maserati garbage raffle. That's all he really cares about is you guys buying these raffle tickets for this trash bucket. I'm back with another thing, man. That's it, y'all. Chills like a mug, man. Y'all, that's real life. Goosebump chills, man. Chill bumps all over my body right now. But uh, here, man, I gotta uh, get outside, man. I can't sit in this house. I have it. So I gotta go ahead and get outside. I'm gonna go to Target and go get me some. Some drinks, some uh, water, some kombucha, probably some steaks, just some stuff to make here to help. So you want us to believe, like, this man made several videos trying to pretend. I mean, that's what it looked like. Th these guys, man, you got to understand a lot of these YouTubers, they will sell their soul. All right. They will sell their soul um, to get some money. So you want me to believe this dude is making four videos in a row every single day for the last couple of days trying to talk about how sick he is. And this man is too cheap to go to a damn urgent care, to go to a doctor's office to get a prescription. He just wants to make it. What, what does he want to do? Like he wants to get on video and just make it seem like he's really sick. He's dying or something like that. It's like, come on, man, like get it together. Stop all this faking, man. Stop it, man. You got the option to go see a doctor. He doesn't want to go see a doctor. Don't grab 
like some salt. So like a, maybe some hot salt or whatever. And um, you know. Get my throat better. Kill the bacteria in my throat. But I am actually feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. I was able to actually sleep today for a while. I still gotta come back and edit my video for the day, but yeah, man. It's actually a pretty nice day. A little overcast clouds, but not too bad. Today is Thursday, so should be a little bit outside tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna go out or not, because I'm lightheaded. My house is in shambles. Dishes. Just everything needs to be situated. But yeah, I mean, if you're watching my channel, man, I know y'all are real ones, man. Drop me a comment if I'm a real one, because... This is what I want to know, man. I don't know if I'm confused or I must have not been keeping up with uh, Stunner Reese. What is this man doing exactly in Miami? What is this man doing in Miami? Is he like really just there to walk up and down like Miami streets recording women all day long? Because that's like what he does. Like that's 90 percent of his content is to drive that piece of shit that he calls ocean or whatever he calls it. Up and down the street, every video showing women half naked, twerking or whatever. Some of them trying to talk to him. Some of them he's talking to them, but never goes in. Like, what is the purpose, man? This man's got a whole family at home, right? And the whole reason he broke up with um, with Lady X is because he doesn't want to be a father. Why is this man not raising his daughter, taking care of kids? But wants to go and uh, go go all the way to Miami and still pretend like he's some kind of teenager, man. This dude is like fucking 50 or something like that. He's got to be in his 50s, late 40s, early 50s, something like that. Like, what is this man doing, man? What are you doing, sir? What are you doing in Miami? Like organic, we can say organic. Organic has no responsibilities, right? That man has no, he has no wife, no kids. I mean, he claims he's got he got married or whatever, but he he's goofy, right? Organic is goofy if you know what I'm talking about. But the point is, organic has no kids, no real responsibility, so he can move anywhere and do whatever, right? Um, even though he he's a clown, but what I'm trying to say is like he has no kids back home. It's not like he left like two kids in a totally different state and decided to go to Miami because the weather is nice, the women, the cars, the scene, right, the lifestyle, but. Stunnery, sir, you are a father and you are living a whole couple states away from your daughter. So your daughter is going to grow up without you while you're on this side of the country chasing women and girls. Like, what is this man doing? And he says, I keep it real. I'm the realest one on YouTube. That is not keeping it real, sir. Chasing women and girls at 50 years old. That's what keeping it real is. And this dude is like cheap. He's so cheap to even take care of himself. He doesn't want to go to a doctor. He's been posting the same crap, which I know why he does it, because to promote the raffles and to drag these useless hour-long videos, which have no real fucking purpose. Nobody else is going to show y'all, you know, when they want to lay down parts of their life, um, like, like the way I do, you know, so vivid. I'm keeping honey with you, you know. Um, I don't know if... He said he keeps it a hundred with you guys. Well, if you kept it a hundred, this is what I don't understand. Why didn't you move your daughter down to Miami? They got schools in Miami. They got elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, private schools. They got everything. Why is this man deciding to live this lifestyle without his own daughter with him? He's got money. He's been doing these raffles back to back to back to back. He's got a lot of money. He's making so much money off of his own people, but he won't even take care of business. He don't, he, he don't stand on business. Why are you all the way in my... Why is a 50-year-old man in Miami when you got yourself a young baby girl that needs her father? These young women... I mean, I, I shouldn't say young one because she's still a little girl. She still needs her father. And her father is over here goofing around in Miami. That's probably how he got sick. All right. Either that or sucking organics dick or something. All right. You don't just like he's in Miami. First of all, some people I saw some people like in the comments here 
talking about organ um not organic stunnery's got the flu got a cold it's not even fucking cold in miami it's hot i was just in miami i was there like last month it's hot it's always hot in miami there's like one day or two days that it rains or shit like that most of the time it's hot how did this man get a cold if it's always hot in miami that man did some other like funny shit he probably ate some dirty pussy or some used up pussy something right this dude has been really, it's not really congested. Seems like you got a throat issue, like sore throat. Probably like, like I said, like, what's his name? Mike Ray said that dude got infected. I'm not taking enough nutrients or something. To uh, sustain, I am back on protein. I fixed me some chicken earlier. I couldn't even eat it all. Why does he think drinking kombucha is going to help his throat? Kombucha is only good for digestive. It's good for your digestive system. All right. For your stomach, things like that. It's not uh, It's not good for his, his esophagus. His throat is what is hurting. I mean, you can tell from the way he's talking or right? unless he's faking it. I don't know, but he looks like it. And why is this dude always wearing glasses inside of his own apartment, man? That apartment gives me the vibes like he's in a parking lot or something because you can see the ceiling. You can see how it's all concrete, right? It's like it's like one of them old school building designs. Some bones are so achy right now. Got the shivers. Right here. Yeah, I'm going to make it, man. I'm going to make it. Was... He got the shivers, but he's wearing a T-shirt. Go on, put on a sweater or something if you really that cold. But one thing I have been doing. Uh, one thing you have been doing is really promoting and pushing this raffle, man. Um, This is your chance to get your dream foreign card. What? This is your chance to get your dream foreign card. Real head turner first place. This is not a dream foreign car. I don't know what is he talking about. Dream foreign car, real head turner. It looks like this thing looked like it was this whole description looked like it's sloppy. It looks like it's written by a four year old or something like that. All this spacing, wrong spelling, all this. Like he just copied this shit and did a terrible job. He just like made it seem he made it. He makes it. He tries to make it seem like it's like a, a legit raffle. By make, copying some rules and stuff and tweaking it. But it reads so stupidly. It says, you are making a voluntary donation. There is no voluntary donation. It's not a donation. People are buying tickets. It's a raffle. Stop trying to twist it around. And then for a screensaver. What screensaver? What, what screensaver are people buying? I keep saying you guys are buying screensavers. What fucking screensaver is he talking about? There is no screensaver on this website. I think he stole this shit from like this whole description from some other raffle or some giveaway with with screen screensavers and copied here because I'm like, what screensaver is this man talking about? And this is not no dream car. This is a 2014 Maserati Ghibli. All right, these are shit cars, complete shit. All right, they're like basically like a Chrysler. All right. This is not no dream car. Just because you paint it yellow doesn't make it exotic or a dream car. Taxi cabs are yellow. Does that mean all the taxi cabs are now exotic? Well, I can. Because I've been doing a lot of research on a lot of different stuff. And um, trying to go to the next level. With uh, marketing and stuff like that. Um, trying to become a better marketing uh, brand ambassador. Things like that. Um, so many opportunities out here, guys, to do different things. If you just study and so much gain out here, so you just gotta find the right thing that fits your niche, and you know, go for it. Stuff that you like, and go for it. It really is that simple. He said, "There's so many marketing opportunities here, but yet he does the exact same bullshit." in every vlog since he's been in Miami. Since he's been in Miami, all this man does 
him and his other homeboy or whatever his name is that drives that um it was it's a, a grand marquee or a crown vic or whatever it is driving up the strip in miami parking at cvs the amount of time this man parks at cvs he could have easily went in there and got some medicine they even have like those little urgent cares right it's like a bootleg urgent care um Actually, no, it's not that bad. I think they have like a nurse practitioner or like a physician assistant. It's not quite a doctor, but they're 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 qualified enough to be able to write him a prescription, right? But he don't care. He talking about marketing, man. Get your health together first, man. Stop eating that dirty pussy. Stop playing with organics dick. Stop hanging on organics dick so much and get it together before you worry about all this marketing, which is just all talk. Cause every vlog, like I said, he walks up and down the Miami strip trying to record put the camera on women's faces trying to get some it's like what 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 are the people watching there are, they, are you guys deprived of seeing women or something like that that you got to watch stunner reese's videos of him recording 40 50 minutes of just women walking down and up and down the strip on the sidewalk and bikinis and stuff like are you guys really that desperate you guys don't have women in your life you never see any kind of attractive girls that you are spending an hour two hours watching Stunner Reese record this nonsense, and now he doesn't even show it. He has to blur the whole fucking screen. It's like, sir, what are we going to watch? A croissant covering the whole screen? So, I'm on a mission, too. I've been telling you a lot of the time while I'm sick to, to do that. And, um, <clears throat> come on back in out of this with some positive information that I can start applying and uh, making things better for me so I can build generational wealth for my family. So, with that being said, uh, man, trying to get through it all, man. Trying to get through it all. Guys, also, as far as the Mossberg, Maserati giveaway, we don't even have 100 people who have entered yet. We're right under 100 people. See, I told you these the purpose of these vlogs are all about the raffles. I just saw the last video he did, the one before this one, or might have been the two before this one, which is pretty much the the sitcom. That's what I'm gonna call it. The sitcom of him getting sick, right? Catching a cold. He did two episodes. The first two are complete garbage. One of which he was recording himself sleeping in bed, but he's really not sleeping, but he's trying to make it look like he's sleeping. Turn it. It's like this dude is weird, man, for a 50-year-old doing some weird-ass shit like this. Like, get it together, man. You got, like, children and shit. Talking about he's building generational wealth. How? Raffling off used, beat-up cars, out of warranty, garbage. That's not how you're going to build generational wealth. But now he's complaining and whining. Oh, there's only 100 people. Only a hundred people entered, man. You got to enter more. It's like, do you guys notice like him, CJ, all these other guys, the 32 gang, the whole 32 gang organization, this failed organization. Like when you watch their content, their content is raffles. They're trying to sell you some shit. There's always some shit you got to buy. This video, so your eyes are great for getting that car if you want something special if you want something different if you don't want to be rolling up to events like everybody else you want your own vibe your own lane i actually got more ladies entered for this car than any other car that i've ever had any of them more ladies i would say 25 percent i've had 25 ladies enter for this car <laughs> just about 75 guys so that lets you know that the ladies like the car. And I, I, I never get ladies really enter my Then that doesn't... This man don't even know what he's talking about. He said, more ladies enter this raffle. You just said only 25 ladies enter and 75% are guys. So that means more guys enter, not ladies. It's like he tries to sound smarter. So I'm like, you sound stupid. Not more ladies entered. More guys still entered. You said 75 guys and 25 women hardly ever but this one the ladies the ladies done stepped up and started uh getting in on this so that's different man it's just you just never know what um a person you know attracts you know so what what type of vehicle 
All right, man. I think he's going to spend like the next 20 minutes talking about this raffle. It's like, this is what this video is going to be all about. Just raffle talking. They don't want you to know this. Are you activating me? Can't just sit up there all day. Can't hold your house, man. I'm going to the pain. I'm going to pain. Walk around, get down, do some sun. Can you kiss? So this man thinks it's a good idea. He's sick. Well, he's been telling you guys he's sick, right? Um, congested, whatever. So he's probably contagious. And he's walking around with no mask, walking around other people. So this is Mr. Positivity, right? He really cares about his supporters, but he doesn't even care about the people around him. Like, he's just going to walking around all contagious, got some flu-like symptoms or whatever, no mask on, just completely reckless. All right, man, I think I had enough watching this video. I don't really like watching Stunner Reese's videos. I, I really have no idea how in the world people watch his videos. They're so boring. He does the exact same shit pretty much every video. Ate the wrong coochie, my boy. COVID is still going on, going around, homie. Miami is the number one spot. You sick and still got on the Stunner. Hmm. Stunner, you be in front of CVS. Get up in there and get that COVID test, bro. Urgent care Stunner right now, gang. Yeah, it's it's weird. This dude, Stunner Reese. I don't really believe he's, like, really that sick. Um, I don't believe it. These YouTubers will do absolutely anything to get some views and some money. Um... That's COVID, bro. I caught it at the end of January, and I had a sore throat fever. Yeah, see, if he had, if he really had it, he wouldn't be able to walk and do all that stuff he's doing now. Um, I think, like, I think, like Mike Ray said, he ate some pussy or something like that, dirty pussy, cheap pussy, you know, or probably sucked organic stick or something like. You, you never know nowadays what those guys be doing right behind closed doors. You know, especially him wearing them tight ass shirts around organic is like it makes you wonder sometimes, like, what are these dudes be really doing? Right. And then or right, he's always touchy. I don't know if you notice this. Stunner Reese is always touchy. He's like touching organic as a lot. Like I, I I never like when I hang out with my friends and stuff like that, we never like lean on each other and hold each other and all that stuff. Like I know, I know, but to each his own. But I'm just saying it's just kind of weird. It's giving me some weird vibes. But then again, Stunner Reese is also weird. This man is in his 50s, hanging around in Miami, chasing out young girls to record on video. It's kind of weird, don't you think so? Got your own daughter back in Illinois that you're supposed to be there raising. But somehow you think it's more entertaining to be in Miami, to rent an apartment, to record videos. Like, what is he doing? He's not like 25 this man is 50. All right? 50. I don't I don't get it, man. But yeah. That's what I think about his videos, these videos that he claims he's sick or whatever. I think he's selling his soul at this point to get these views, get this money, and once you desperately buy these raffle tickets cuz only 100 people have entered. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section.